Well, definitely the A7 is characterized by the rear end. We had the original idea with Walter De Silva to look very closely to the old Audi 100 Coupe from the 19, late 1970s. And this boat tail finish, this almost negative shape of the rear end, is our, our theme. We have been de defining the A7 and I think this is a very strong, remarkable detail in the car. I would say as we look at the A8, which is, let's say, our flagship, it's very majestic, very bold statement. And later on the A6, the A7 is in between, embedded in between. And uh, the A7 for sure uh, is characterized with very slim, with very straight, with very precise lines, a very low front end. And it's more, let's say, the, the, the athlete, the very uh, precise athlete and very slim athlete. In the interior design, we really tried to continue the slim and athletic language of the exterior also inside the car. And uh, it has almost a, a yacht or, or boat feeling with the wraparound theme in front of the dashboard. The dashboard is extremely slim and it creates a certain feeling of lightness. The car is very light. We have aluminium body panels and therefore we wanted to create this feeling of lightness also in the interior. And I think this is really the, the marking point of the, of the whole interior design. When combined with an optional MMI Navigation Plus, the driver will get a touch-sensitive control panel called MMI Touch. And with this touch panel, he can enter his addresses, his telephone numbers, by just writing the letters and numbers on this touch panel. And uh, he will get an acoustical feedback, which helps us to keep his eyes on the road and he does not have to look away from the road. And additionally, we improved the speech dialogue system means the driver now can enter his complete address within one sentence. This means the city, the street and the house number you can, you can input within one sentence. That's very special. For the first time we will offer in this class the advanced sound system from Bang & Olofsson, which has 15 speakers with altogether 1300 watts of power. This system will provide sufficient sound for any sound enthusiastic, so there will be no wish open. A lot of driving pleasure and a very high everyday practicality. So for example, the 3.0 TDI diesel with 180 kilowatt um, has a strong uh, torque with 500 newton meters and only 6.0 liters per 100 kilometers consumption. And um, as standard, we have uh, the drive select, so the, the driver can choose between um, a sporty and a um, comfortable characteristic of the car. We um, have everyday practicality with the A7 Sportback. For example, the luggage compartment um, has 535 liters and we can expand it to 1390 liters and it's very easy to use. It's very easy to load something into the luggage compartment. We have a very wide range of standard equipment for the new A7 Sportback. It is, for example, the multifunction leather covered steering wheel. It is a two zone uh, climate control. The exterior, the exterior underscored by, by the um, 18 inch aluminium wheels. For example, we have the full LED headlights with all the uh, light functions. We have um, the UMTS uh, online telephone with uh, the connection to, uh, for example, laptop or for example, iPad. 
And we have the navigation system plus with the very innovative MMI Touch, the touchpad.